today I will be redoing my marble countertop. yourself sis I'm Yama and for today's video I will be redoing the faux marble countertop that I did with the rust-oleum appliance paint so the reason why I ended up having to do a redo is because number one that was my first time doing a marbling technique and even though we definitely got great feedback on that I just wasn't satisfied with how it turned out I knew that from my experience doing it the first time I just kind of knew what I needed going into to it again so for this time around I decided to make the veining a bit smaller because the kitchen space is a very small space and the first veining technique seemed a bit big for the countertop and you'll see what I'm talking about I just wanted to make it a bit smaller and a little bit more free if you will um, with this technique so stay tuned for the video guys for this tutorial, you will need your appliance epoxy, your 3 inch wide paintbrush, black oil paint, linseed oil, few small paintbrushes, a sponge, a mixing tray, and a painting tray with your foam roller. So to begin, I am removing the old caulking from around the sink. It was a bit tough to remove, but you want to make sure you get all of that out of there so the paint can glide on as smooth as possible. Next, I will be going around with some painter's tape and cutting off any square edges. This part, I am going over the old faux marble with some of the epoxy paint and my foam roller. I'm doing a couple of very thin layers because I do want the previous gray from the old veining to kind of show through to give me some dimension. This step I will be mixing the linseed oil with the black oil paint and the epoxy. I will be mixing until I get a couple of different shades of gray for the veining. I was able to mix three different shades of gray for the veining and that will give it some real depth and dimension. For this next step, you will need your small paint brushes. I just got a few from the dollar store. I'm showing the sponge, but I didn't really use the sponge through this process. I found other techniques that worked a bit better for me. Definitely, you want to use paint brushes that you don't mind losing because once the epoxy gets on it, it will be of no use to you after that. So here I am just kind of doing a rough outline of the old veining and just using my brush to make little trace strokes. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want the veining to go and the flow of it. One thing I did learn from doing it before is that I want it to flow as naturally as possible. So I'm just kind of plotting out my lines and using my three inch brush I am doing a padding and pull motion so even though I am doing a dab I am also dragging the brush downward as well so it kind of keeps the veining more concise instead of fanning it out too much as you can see here I faded the lines down quite a bit 
um, I wasn't really feeling this vein here so I decided to fade it down as much as I could and use that as kind of a base for my real veins that I will be creating so it kind of fades in quite a bit with that same pat and pull motion for those of you who will be starting on a fresh white surface instead of how I had my previous layers under here you would definitely do this first step to create your base layer and then take it from there right here is where you can see that I got a little bit looser with my technique I have decided to hold the paintbrush between my pointer and my thumb finger and kind of roll it around and swivel my wrist a bit. And I'm liking the motion and the natural flow that it's giving to the veining here. And I'm still just trying to figure things out. So as I go along, I'm still doing that padding and pull motion just to see how things look. This is still an experiment, you guys, so um, it does take a bit of layering. Um, I found that the layering was very helpful for me, and um, it created a more natural look at the end. So you see my veins are starting to kind of look like something. On the spots that I think are a little bit dark, I'm putting some white there, and it's very important to have your your three inch brush or whatever size uh, bigger brush you want to use to have that with the epoxy the white epoxy on there at all times just kind of a little dry brush um, that way when you're mixing it kind of fades as you're as you're doing that pad pull method here I'm creating layers so I am taking my foam roller I put very little epoxy on the roller and I am going back over the veining that I just did just to fade it out a bit. You see here. So once it's faded out a bit, I'm able to go back in with my paintbrush and my gray paint to create another layer of veining. And with that same uh, forefinger and thumb, just twisting and rolling and kind of rolling my wrist around just to make it very fluid. I don't have any mappings as to how I'm going to be doing this veining. I just know that I wanted it to look natural as possible. Uh, I would recommend that you look at uh, some pieces of marble. That way um, you can kind of understand how it just kind of free flows. So I'm just randomly doing these little squigglies on the counter now. So every line that I'm putting down, I'm patting it out and fading it very, very lightly. So here you see the, the new veining and here we have the old veining. Um, notice the difference how big this old veining was as compared to how tiny the new veining is. So we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Again, I'm taking my foam roller. You don't need much paint on there at all. You want to go in. Now, if you are starting from a fresh countertop, this is your plain white surface right here. And we will be building the layers up again.
so again after I put down the next layer of the veining I'm going back over with my foam roller with very minimal paint on it and giving myself those layers to work with and I'm just freestyling you guys there's no <laughs> there's no method to my madness I just knew that I wanted the veining to be small and that was it and I just just went with it So if I'm being completely honest, this part is not my favorite. I actually do not do well with the marbling going upward. It it doesn't have much control for me and uh, it's kind of hard doing that dab and drag kind of motion going upward. Just take your time on this step I would say and you still want to do that layering process even though it is kind of above the sink. I, I, you know, a part of me just wanted to leave it like how it was, but um, because I wanted to be consistent with the layering that I was doing on the, the bottom of the countertop, I just went ahead and, you know, kind of kept it uniformed. But that, that part was not my favorite part to do at all. So now that I have almost finished <laughs> the marbling, I'm just going to go ahead and take my epoxy, just the plain epoxy with my smaller paintbrush and clean up the edges along where we remove the caulking from. And I did end up doing three coats on the edges as well, you guys, but that was done off camera. So right now I'm going ahead and re-caulking around the sink. I love to caulk because it definitely gives everything a nice clean finish. And I am going to be going in with my caulking tool. Oh, I just love it. I love the smoothness of the caulking tool. And again, we are going to link that in the description below. But, um, you know, use the caulking tool and just kind of clean up those edges and make sure everything looks really nice and neat. Oh, here's the final product, you guys. I really enjoyed this process. I think that this marbling turned out way, way better than I expected it to. And this is the second try. So, you know, I know they say third time's a charm, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be going back over this countertop. That's it for, for this one. <laughs> um, but uh, just a couple of things to to keep in mind when you're doing it. Just kind of free flow it. It's definitely great to have a loose wrist when you're doing this and keep your paintbrush wet at all times. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hi guys. So thank you so much for viewing that video. Um, I had an amazing time doing this marbling and for me using that oil medium was a major key. It was very exciting for me and I'm so glad that it turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. I had it in my head and I'm just like no I have to go back over this again just to make it exactly how I wanted it to, to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had such an amazing time doing it and stay tuned for other videos like this one because I will be redoing the kitchen floors as well. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a good one.